Hi everyone, thank you for joining. So I have a very, very fun video today. And it's a do-it-yourself video or a DIY video. And today it's gonna be do-it-yourself BB cream. That's amazing, right? So you guys know, if you guys been watching my videos, you guys know I love my Leo Belly BB cream. And I love it. I love it for many reasons. I actually have a full review on these BB creams. I'll put the link down below that way you guys can see it but they can get a bit pricey you know these are Korean BB creams I also have like the BB creams that have come out here in the US such as like the studio no the youth code from L'Oreal and I have the Garnier one and I have the other BB cream from uh, L'Oreal the magic beautifier or something like that but they're not as great as these. Now, uh, I'm going to show you guys how I make my own BB cream because in the past videos, you guys don't know, but I actually have been wearing probably the past three or four videos, I've been actually wearing uh, a customized BB cream that I made myself. So this is what the video is about. Now, I cannot take credit for this because it wasn't my idea. It is actually, um, well, my aunt told me that if I knew how to make my own BB cream, and I said no. And then she showed me a video, but I forgot what video she showed me. So I don't know. I don't remember who it was, but I watched a video. But anyways, I'll just make my own. That way I can let you guys know, just in case you guys didn't know, there's a do-it-yourself BB cream. So this is the way I do the BB cream, or my BB cream. And it's worked really nice for me. So the first thing you're going to need is an empty container. Now this one's stained. I already washed it, but it's stained because this is where I had my BB cream. Uh, but I actually just finished it, so I just went ahead and washed it. Just an empty, like, you can just use any empty container that you might have, like, or anything that has, if you have something that has a pump, it's even better. I got this one because it has, like, a little squeezy thingy. But, yeah, it still works, so just make sure you sanitize it and, you know, stuff like that. So, you're going to need this. You're also going to need a moisturizer, a primer, a concealer, a foundation, a luminizer, and a setting or a, a powder, a loose powder, and a setting spray. If you don't have the exact same things I'm using, it's okay. You don't have to use every the exact same th things I'm using. I'm going to mention alternatives while I'm doing this stuff, you know? So let's get started. So you open the little container, and I hope I don't make a mess. Oh, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I apply it. So I'm just going to shake my uh, my uh, moisturizer. I'm going to put two different ones just because, you know, I want it to be very moisturizing. And I'm using the Equate like brand. It's just a moisturizer. It's comparable to the Neutrogena one. You know, it's oil-free because I have like oily skin. And then I have the Finish and Mattifying Moisturizer from Clean and Clear uh, just to mattify my face. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this. Let me just show you like that much of the mattifying one. I'm not gonna fill all the all the container, just FYI. I'm probably just gonna make it up to here, but it's good enough for like a week. Okay, then I take the other moisturizer. The mattifying one has SPF 15. That's why I'm putting that one, and then I'm putting the oil free, the other one. I'm gonna put five pumps. One, two, three four five this one doesn't have SPF but I mean I just want to add it because I really want it to be very smooth and sil silky and very blendable then I'm taking my foundation I'm using the you want to take a foundation that it's not mm, you can use a foundation that matches your skin perfectly but if you if you use a foundation that it's a little bit darker than your fa uh, than your face then it's better just because you're gonna combine it with the SPF so if you have a darker one, then that's fine. This is classic beige. It's not that dark for me, but since we're getting already in the winter, it's a little bit dark for me. 
and it also has like a very long staying power and yeah you might want to use the foundation that you hardly use you know and this is one of the ones that I hardly use so I'm just gonna put about I don't know it depends if you want it to have a bunch of like a lot of coverage then put a lot if you don't then don't I wish I had like measuring stuff for you guys but I don't so sorry I guess just go for what you pretty much think if you want a lot of coverage put a little bit more I made it to like a medium coverage after that I'm gonna take my Glamouflage concealer you can use any concealers that you might have it's just that this is the one that I use I use it a lot but then I have a lot of it so I'm not really gonna run out of it at right now so I'm just gonna put like this much All right there this is gonna add a lot of coverage to my BB cream if you have any other creams or anything that is like a skincare benefit go ahead and put it in there as well it's also gonna help it you know anything like that so anything like for acne or things like that any creams that you usually put on before your foundations and stuff like that just add it to this it's it's gonna pretty much do the same thing then I'm taking the Victoria's Secret this is a luminizer um, you can use any type of liquid luminizer like the let me see what other ones that I might have like the high beam you can use the high beam you can also you can also use the magic Lumi. I'm just gonna use this one just because I'm the other time um, you know just because I have a lot of this but if you don't have a liquid luminizer just illuminator excuse me, luminizer illuminator you can just take like an eyeshadow that has a little bit of sheen to it just get a scrape off a little bit of eyeshadow and put it in here so I'm just gonna take one pump oops okay two pumps just because the first one went like out um what else oh I forgot primer I'm also gonna add primer this is a Revlon photo ready one I love it because it's like I could have put I mean you can, you can do this I mean but you know I could put this one because I love this one or the elf one but I wanted to use this one just because it's still like like it fills in my pores and stuff like that so I really like this foundation I mean primer excuse me so I'm gonna use that so I'm just gonna put like five pumps one two three four five six seven seven pumps <laughs> I love my primer then I'm just gonna add or are you my rice paper and this is just to give it a little bit of uh, more color and help the pretty much everything set you know so let me just I want to hold it up but I can't really you know so I did put some okay I, I promise I did put some just a little bit um and then after that the last thing I'm gonna take is my elf setting spray you can use any setting spray but this is the most like inexpensive one I'm gonna do like five pumps of this one two three four five and that is it now I'm just gonna close it up and shake it very very good like shake it girlfriend you gotta shake this baby you can also use like a little container like if you don't want to have it like this and you want to use it like day by day you can just like put it in a little cup and then put all the ingredients or everything I mentioned and not the ingredients everything I mentioned and just mix it you know now let me show you the product there it is you know then I'm just gonna show you how I apply it okay so hopefully I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit you know I look really awful I know okay I'm just gonna put some in the back of my hand and you're probably wondering like Laura like you have a little cap here in a squeezy thingy but you know I'm just so excited about this video have it right there and let me show you how I apply my homemade BB cream 
and it's so good, you know? You guys see that? I've been, ha like, enjoying this and loving it. Like I said, if you want more coverage, definitely put more foundation. But if you don't, then girlfriend, you don't need a lot. And I feel like the powder, the powder, the primer, and the setting spray do their job. Like, they actually, when I apply it, I don't feel, like, greasy. I have com combination. I have combination oily skin. So, I do experience both. Like, I do have, you know, whoopsie. Do not get it on your shirt, please. I do experience both dry and oily, but, um, so I can tell you right now that this does not make my skin look oilier, it does not make it look, um, cakey or flaky, because my dry spot are my, um, my cheeks. Let me just show you, I, I really hope, I really, really hope. The lightning and the camera are doing its justice, you know. When I apply this, you know, I don't have to apply a setting anything. I don't apply anything. I just pretty much put this on and I'm good to go. Like, I just, like, move on to my eyebrows, which I did before this. But, you know, I don't need it. And then I put some on my... You know, my dark circles. I might need some more concealer on that, but I mean, it's fine. And that's it, guys. Like, that's the homemade BB cream, the DIY BB cream. That's it. Let me just zoom you in a little bit more. Just so you guys can see that I don't have any cakiness whatsoever anything like you know it's just like set I look pale but I promise it, it matches my skin tone so yeah this is the do-it-yourself BB cream I really hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you on my next video bye